nebulizers when we spoke about we talked about conversion of a liquid solution or suspension to fine mist or aerosol the fill volume which means the the chamber which is provided for filling up with the drug the fill volume should be ideally 2 to 4 ml because there should be something for the electricity to act to convert it into an aerosol so the liquid should get vibrated and should get uh, broken up into smaller liquid particles to be uh, aerosolized in the form of suspension of that liquid in the air which will lead to the inhalation of the medication so for this some amount of liquid has to be there in the chamber so we have seen the minimum amount should be 2 to 4 ml which should be the quantity of the liquid which you purchase from the market so 10 to 15 minutes are required to nebulize this amount of medication anybody who has used nebulizers must be aware that there is a particular sound which happens when the medication gets over there is a change in the sound of how your medication is getting aerosolized and that change in sound is an indication that you should stop the medication Uh, uh inhalation of that particular medication at that point in time you might argue that there is still some amount of liquid which is left inside of that uh, inhalation chamber however that is the resedimented liquid that comes again and again and the amount of medication left inside of that residual volume is not much to be taken inside so higher dose we have seen that is needed as compared to your inhaler devices it has higher dose available if we compare salbutamol it is 2500 microgram as compared to 2.5 mg which is taken through the inhaler sorry this is 2500 mg as compared to 2.5 mg which is taken in the form of an inhaler so jet nebulizers are pneumatically powered which is the conventional bigger uh, uh, nebulizer and ultrasonic and mesh nebulizers are the ones which are which are having a piezoelectric membrane or a piezoelectric region to convert this kind of liquid into the aerosolized form for inhalation there are various hand held nebulizers also available these days which are very very handy this is a pictorial graphic representation of how the liquid is converted into the aerosol in case of a jet nebulizer jet nebulizer is the one which makes a lot of noise once you connect it to the uh, electricity it is the bigger nebulizer which is usually available in the price range of 2500 to 3500 rupees here in india so here you see the liquid reservoir at least 2 ml is required and maximum fill is 15 ml it requires a driving gas or an air to get this liquid converted into the aerosol which goes to the patient and half the amount of medication is also lost to the ambient air because for the equalization of pressure we do require this side of uh, this chamber to be open now this uh, driving force could be either the compressed air through the compressor which is present inside of your box of that uh, nebulizer the ideal pressure is 50 psi and here in the other source as you might have seen in hospitals is the compressed oxygen with a minimum flow of 6 to 8 liter per, per minute which is required for this liquid to get converted into the aerosol which again i am telling you is the suspension of liquid or solid particles in air now this liquid is broken into smaller smaller droplets which get uh, uh, you know suspended in the air which leads to the availability of these small particles for patient inhaler inhalation now ultrasonic nebulizers which are a step advanced how do they uh, operate they have a piezoelectric uh, crystal which vibrates at a rate of 1 to 3 megahertz present here at the bottom and it creates certain vibrations in the liquids and these vibrations are responsible for the conversion of this liquid the ultrasonic waves into the aerosol form now this is the mist which is available for the patient inhalation and particle size here varies between 0.5 to 5 microns various advantages are there this one is noise free because here the ultrasonic waves are involved it's virtually noise free 
and the effectiveness with which this liquid is converted into aerosol is quite effective there is less amount of residual volume which remains there however they are more expensive on the other hand if we can uh, consider the mesh uh, nebulizers they have a vibrating mesh in place of a piezoelectric uh, uh, you know crystal which was there in the ultrasonic nebulizer herein we have a membrane which converts the liquid by the ultrasonic waves into the aerosol and that is available for your patient inhalation this is how we compare between different nebulizers the power source in case of uh, the jet as well as ultrasonic mainly remains electrical or compressed gas or in case of vibrating mesh nebulizers we can have battery operated system also if we consider portability which one is the smaller one vibrating mesh is very very small and the treatment time required is shortest in vibrating mesh nebulizer the residual volume as we spoke is sometimes very very high in case of jet nebulizers at least 1.2 ml remaining on an average at the end of it uh, in ultrasonic and vibrating mesh it is low to the tune of 0.2 ml in vibrating mesh nebulizer and on the other hand if we compare the amount of cost which is there the lowest cost would be for jet while as the highest would be for the vibrating mesh which is between 10000 to 25000 rupees 